Hi, my name is Alex Brule. I work for Information Systems Aston at Aston University, Birmingham, UK. And I would like to share with you a little project that I started a while ago. We've been using this combination of software for nearly a year, and so far it served us really, really well. The little project that I'm talking about is wonderful Ultair open Des desktop software and how we integrated it to provide access to high-performance computing clusters and to some other facilities which could be firewalled and not accessible from outside without VPN. I slowed down the screen recording a little bit. It's not the drug, just so it makes more sense and you could follow along as we move along the presentation. So, for example, here's your virtual desktop. We're going to start terminal Unlock our keys with a passphrase. Well, the keys and passphrase seems to be a common way we do tasks nowadays. As you can see, we're all in CH-rooted environment with limited access to the outside. We're going to open the second terminal, or tab. And from there, or from here, we're going to access our file store which is absolutely un unaccessible from outside. Again, you can only access it if you have the keys and passphrase set up. So now we are on a file store. We're going back to the first terminal and we're going to check directory, which I have in my home directory, MNT. It's empty. Okay, so let's flip over. So we're on the file store. Unlock the key with SSH. And now I'm going to type the command mount, which is just an alias. And when I change the MNT directory, it's full of all the files. Now, how this magic has happened? It's all the power of open source software, Fuse file system, and Shell file system. We started the graphical file manager, and if I go to MNT, as you can see, I have all the files in my home directory, my real home directory, and if I need to work, I can work copy back and from and do some other file related tasks. That's way, way convenient because sometimes firewalls and sometimes some other restrictions might not allow you access or work with the files from remote location. Okay, now I type UML, which is just an alias again. And we can exit from our file store. Now, if we have a look at the doc profile which our users are using, you might see that all the commands we use just in the alias to real show file system commands. And there is no limit how many you can create to access different file stores, providing which they all run some flavor of Linux. At the bottom we have funds which are needed so we can render Mathematica symbols properly. I must say that Ultera Desktop could integrate access to Windows service providing you have to licenses and there is a terminal server which will provide that access. So now we're going to have a look at the high performance computing cluster. It's a small cluster, seven nodes, every single one of them is 32 cores, so it's quite useful in certain type of cal uh, calculations and simulations. It's weekend and there are not many users at the moment. There are two parallel MATLAB jobs. And we're going to get interactive node under the control of Green Engine, which is very important. We don't want to interfere. Um, we're going to try and test some software, which is kind of implementation of MPI MATLAB created only using MATLAB scripts. So it's not really real MPI, but the syntax and ifs are very similar. We're going to start graphical MATLAB, and as you can see, it's quite springy. It's very fast start. And as you can see, I'm still on my laptop, accessing it over the wireless. And I could hardly say that there is any latency. There is rapid, about six graphs generated using different techniques ranging from FFT to blurring and zooming. 
I won't go through all of them. That's not the point of presentation. As you can see, there's a little bit of a redraw issue if you drag them too fast. But hey, after all, we have six plots generated. Uh, they all displayed, none of them. It seems like anything else. So that was very impressive. And uh, as you can see, software is very, very usable for combination or tear. Um, high performance computing is really wonderful. Now we're going to try Mathematica. Mathematica is a simple file which runs simple screen, which is accessing 32 ports. So please be patient and bear with me. It takes time to boot 32 kernels. Right. Okay. I was wrong, it's much faster, so we have graphics generated, everything is properly done, we can exit. As you can see, the desktop is still very, very responsive. Uh, the user has got all the illusions working on the real desktop. Now we type exit and exit from the cluster. We only had a look at one aspect of Voltaire. Altair has got two faces. This is the first one, which is desktop. Now we're going to have a look at the portal interface, which is quite important. So we're going to close it. Maybe. Sorry about error in Java. Since Internet Explorer 4, it appears wonderful, but we can live with it. Functionality is not impeded. So now we're logging into a portal. Portal is slightly different. It's for different uses, and you can really restrict what applications you publish. Uh, I publish all of them to be excellent. Nobody is using GIMP, but they could if they wanted to. On the right hand side, you can see that the icons were trying to zoom. Some of them grayed out, some of them are available. The most important two are upload and download which means that you can upload something to your home computer or download from home to remote Voltaire desktop so you would be able to work with the file. So we're going to download that particular file, I think it's one of the manuals from Sun Microsystem, from Sun Microsystem, I must say. And now we try to upload. So we're going to pick up a file on my new laptop uh, because it's new there isn't much going on there but Ubuntu one has got one in for us which we can upload please bear in mind that upload speed is not really brilliant where I live but it's quite usable and here we are the file is there and we can access it on the left hand side there are all the applications we're going to use are very effective and efficient file manager, which is by the way, my aware. So if we're going to have a look at that particular file, we upload it. We double click, and yes, we have a create opening that particular file. If we wanted to, we could run a presentation in PDF and full screen. That's quite handy as well. If you find yourself without a computer somewhere else, and you need to show a presentation. So we need the goodwill of a friend or a colleague, and Java-enabled machine. That was the end of our demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it, and you saw how powerful the software is. Thank you. Bye.